so this is list number four. Again, we're just building up, uh, building upon the stuff that we've done before. So we're adding in some extra chords. Um, we've got another single note exercise, which kind of, div uh, like I said, develops on what we've done before, rhythmically, note-wise, and technically changing the strings. Okay, so if we go through your chords, which uh, you should have memorized from last time. Uh, so we'll start with the E minor, so that'll be your middle two fingers, second and third fingers on string five, string four. If you strum that, just give you that sort of sound. Remember it's minor, so that's a sadder sound. The next chord was A, so this was an extension of the A sus, so it's three fingers, first finger in string four, second finger in string three, and your third finger in string two, all in the same fret. Should sound like that, so it's a major chord. Okay, then we had the D chord, which is one in the triangle. So you put your first finger on string three, second finger on the high E, third finger in between. Give that a strum, should sound like that. Okay, so the next chord we're going to introduce is G major. So we'll take your first finger now and put it on string five on the second fret. Now put your third, second finger, sorry, in the third fret, and then put your third finger, mirror image, right across to the very top, okay? Let's take your fingers completely off. Let's do that again. So start with your first finger, always one finger at a time. First finger goes there. String five, second fret. Then put your second finger on the sixth string at fret three. And then put your third finger on the high E string at fret three. Remember, look back at the screen when you're doing this, make sure you double check you're using the right fingers. It gets quite confusing when I'm saying string five, fret three, fret two, etc. Okay, so just one last time. First finger, string five, one, two, three, four, five, second fret, cross the bottom string with your second finger, third finger at the top. Good thing to do is take your fingers completely off, have a look at your hand, and then take your fingers completely off and just try and find that shape again. Ultimately, you want to be dropping your fingers down at the same time. As a beginner, it will be like this for quite some time. One finger at a time. But then, if you can even just sit and practice just dropping your fingers down at the one time, this is what you'll ultimately be doing. That could be something you could practice, maybe if you don't want to disturb someone, maybe it's late at night, someone's watching the television but it's just finger placement like that. As well as making sure you can see the chord in your head, that you know what the chord is, and you're not staring at a piece of paper. So try and memorize these. And like before, just practice strum. And if you do this within a matter of a couple of weeks, just through sheer repetition, you'll be able to play those chords. In the next lesson, we're going to be introducing a, a song Okay, so then we'll start using these. Just now we're go just going to use like a, a practice pattern. But this time we're going to introduce some strumming into the practice pattern. Okay, so let's go through it. We'll just do the chords in that order, which we just E minor, A, then we've got D, then we've got the new chord G. So don't worry if you've not quite got that yet. So I've just shown you. So let's uh, count it in four. So tap in our foot, ready after four. One, two, start with the E minor. Ready, go. One, two, A next, ready, go. D next, ready, go. G after that, ready, go. Okay, let's do it once more, but remember that as soon as you've played a chord, in your mind, go straight onto the next chord, okay? Because you'll have, it'll feel like you've got absolutely no time at all. Okay, and you'll feel very rushed. Okay, so let's do it again. One, E minor, two, three, go. One, two, next one, go. One, two, next one, go. One, two, go into G next. Ready, go. Okay, and just remember, do that practicing. Memorize these. So that's four chords. So what we need to do now is, well, we don't need to do it, but uh, it makes things a little bit more interesting, is adding a bit of strumming into our four. So the first thing we can do is strum three, uh, three strums for each chord. So remember, we're counting fours, so it'll be like strum, 
strum, strum, then change. So we've only got one beat to change our chord in, okay? So it's cutting down that thinking time. Okay, so we do it like this. One, two, three, swap. One, two, three, swap. One, two, three, swap. One, two, three. Simple. Okay, now tap your foot. After four, ready? One, two, E minor, ready, go. One, two, three, change. A, change to D, and ready, go. Change. Okay. Again, sounds quite rudimentary, but hopefully you can see it start to take shape a little bit. And yeah, let's try it again. After, uh, after four, ready? One, two, uh, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three. Okay, so now let's change up the strumming slightly. So we're going to add in an upstroke now. All of those were downstrokes before. So now we're going to add an upstroke in on the second strum. So with the upstrokes, your hand is basically tied to your foot. So it goes down, down, down. At no point should you speed your hand up, or not just now anyway. What you're going to do is keep your hand at the same pulse, but just catch the strings on the way back up. And that'll naturally double it. So we're going to uh, count it as one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Change. One, two, and three. Okay, let's try that. Tap your foot. Uh, you can still, I'm just holding the string so they don't make any noise there, just very lightly. Uh, tap your foot. One, two, ready, go. So it goes down, down, up, down. Again. Down, down, up, down, again, down, down, up, down, last time, go, down, down, up, down. Okay, so if you hold that with the chord, it starts sounding like a song. Okay, so grab the E minor first, we'll do them separately, give me the E minor, after four, two, three, go, down, down, up, down, then. Okay, change to your next chord, which is the A, one, two, three, here we go, after four, one, Two, ready, go. Down, down, up, down. Same thing, change to D. After four, one, two, D, go. Down, down, up, down. And your last chord, the G chord. Play me the G chord after four, ready, go. Down, down, up, down. Okay, so ultimately, we want to stick that all together. So let's try it here, start with the E minor. Um, go through the chords, E minor, A, D, and G. And you'll have a PDF with this all written down with the chords in order as well. Okay, so start with E minor, tap your foot as always, after four, one, two, three, go. Down, down, up, down, change. Down, down, up, down, change. Down, down, up, down, G, go. Down, down, up, down. Okay. Now, while I just want you to practice that, make sure you can play that, and that means you'll be ready for the next kind of lesson. You can change it if you find that too easy, or you think you've got a good handle on that, your chords are nice and clear, you can tap your foot. Then you can start varying this, so you can start adding an upstroke on any of the downstrokes. So we could add it number one, for example. So we go down, up, down, down, change. Down, up, down, down, change. Down, up, down. Down. Or you could add it in the third one. One, two, three, and change. One, two, three, and change. Okay? Or you could add them to all of them. Down, up, down, up, down, up, change. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Most important thing is just make sure that foot's tapping and your hand's syncing up with that. And that means you're playing in rhythm. One of the most important things about playing in rhythm, especially with chord changes, are when you're starting out, you'll give yourself far, far too much time. Right, okay, next chord, here we go. And you won't actually realise the amount of time you're giving yourself. If you're tapping your foot all the time, if you're not quite ready, then at least you know you're not quite ready and you need to try and speed that chord change up. If you're having trouble changing in time, 
quite difficult to do, but try and just keep the hand strumming the whole time. So even if this hand isn't ready, keep this hand going, okay? And this will force this hand to uh, catch up in time. What you will want to do if you've not got the chord is you'll want to just stop because you haven't quite got the chord. But try and keep this going. This is your kind of rock here that will keep you right. One, two, three. And this will force this hand to speed up. And that's probably the best way of doing it. Okay, uh, let's look at the three note exercise then. What we're going to do now is name the different note values here. Well, there's the original Italian way, and then this is the more the American way. I, I like to name them the American way, as it makes more sense. So if you remember, we're in 4-4. Four, four. So each bar lasts for four beats. So in the American system, this would be called a whole note. Now it takes up the whole bar. Okay, so there you go, whole note. That's easy to remember, it's worth four beats. This is worth two beats. You can recognise it because it isn't coloured in. And this is called a half note because it would take up half the bar. Okay, the other note value here is this note. Same as this, but it's now coloured in. This is a quarter note. Okay, because the before written in the bar. One, two, three, four. They're quarter notes. Uh, and then I'm sure you can guess what these are. When we double up and we split the rhythm up, these are called eighth notes. So we go one kind of fraction further. So just remember these notes last for two here. So we've, if we're counting it, we go one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, then three, and four, and one. We stop there. So hopefully that makes sense. So that would be beats, if that's worth two, that would be in beats one and two, then that's three and four and, and this is in beat number one again, okay? So whole note, we have the half note, lasts for two beats. Quarter note, which is worth one pulse, one beat. And then if we took this and we split it into two, the quarter note, we get eighth notes, okay? Which would be 0.5 each. So if you tap your foot, first of all, clap along with me, ready? One, two, three, four, so it's one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. Let's do that again, just make sure you tap your foot. One, two, and one, two, three, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, Four, next, one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. Okay, can you see me pointing there? That was me counting out the two, the imaginary two. One, two, three and four and. Okay. So now let's run over the notes. They're all notes that we played before, but they're in a different order this time. Okay, so if we look at the first phrase there, uh, we're going three, one, open, one, three. So we'll start with the high G. Walking down, one, open, one, three. And then walking back up to that note, which we play twice. So here we go, starting with the high note. Walking down, back up. And you actually double up that note at the end there, okay? So what to do is apply it in the rhythm. So if we think of the rhythm, then three and four and one. So if I go, then, okay? Even if you're a bit unsure of rhythm or you feel that's a little bit too much, uh, people do sometimes, just listen to the sound of it and try and play along. As long as you're starting the top note, go down, then straight back up. You're not missing any notes in between, okay? I think it was a kind of row of notes and I'm not skipping any. So just, I'll play it a couple of times. Try and tap your foot, ready, and then. Do it one last time, ready, and then. Okay, so that's the first phrase, okay? Okay, so if we look on to bar three now, then the notes are, uh, we've got starting with an F, so that's the E, the first fret. 
So we'll start one fret higher, then we're just going to walk down the way, open E, then the D note, third fret, first fret, second string, then open. Okay, so if we do that again, we've got E1, E, 3, 1, open. Okay, so the first bit now we've got starting in the G note. Then we start a note, uh, a note lower, F. Okay, and then the last phrase, we're going to go down to the G string. We play the two, open, two, open. Okay, and then we've got open B. And B1. Okay, so to play that, we'll go through the notes again actually. So it's two, open, two, open, open B, then B1. Okay, so if I play that in rhythm. Okay. So I'm going to tap my foot really slowly, if you've got the music in front of you, try and follow along first of all, then we'll play it a second time and try and play with me, okay? So I'll tap my foot, one, two, three, go, then, one, two, three, next one, then, second finger, then, Try it again for me. So we'll try and play along this time. One, two, three, go. Then two, three, one. Then then okay. Now. You may have noticed me, the way I've been picking, and I'll use down up stroke sometimes, just at the moment, just play whatever's comfortable. So whether that be, most people find just down strokes comfortable. Uh, some people, you, you'll be in the minority, but some people find up strokes comfortable, that's fine. And uh, just whatever, and if you already play a little bit and are used to using down up strokes, you can try that. Don't worry about that at all. We'll kind of start uh, working on plectrum technique. In, uh, in future lessons, okay? So let's try that along with the music, see what it sounds like. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, then, then, okay. Try once more for me with the music. Here we go. Two, three, E1, then. Uh, some weird kind of movements here with the plectrum stuff, especially that final uh, that final bar, but it's kind of designed more to get your fingers moving and the plectrum kind of moving rather than to be uh, a, a masterpiece. Right, okay. Uh, so what to practice for next time would be your four chords now. So you've got E minor, D, A and G. Remember we're strumming it in fours all the time and you can add in the down up rhythm. If you look in your PDFs you'll have these. Okay, we now have this exercise which covers three different strings, okay, and you've got the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So hopefully those are kind of committed uh, with memory now. And I've added in an extra listening exercise for you to go back, and that's just to go over the major and minor chords again. So if you have a listen through that, and uh, you can mark down your answers, and even then I can check it the next time. Okay, thank you.